Oh, okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan, and we're, yes, um, 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 Tengen, we're playing. We got the first hit, too. Heck yeah. Just get a combo that lets us build our meter back, because I don't want to be completely empty throughout the game. Tengen, um, <laughs> I didn't have much of an intro. Yeah, we're playing with Tengen. He seems pretty crazy. It's day one. I've only been in training mode for a few minutes, then played a few matches online. And uh, yeah, he seems pretty powerful. Mainly this special move. His tilt special seems to be the thing that holds the character together because it seems kind of really ridiculous. Oh god, it's even his support attack, is it? Everything else about the character is like pretty typical. He's got, like, a crumple state thing, he's got, you know, a DP. The DP doesn't go very far, unfortunately. Oops. But, um, yeah, the real kicker of this character is that... Where did my punish go? I didn't mean to do a sidestep, I meant to do a dash in. Um, the tilt special is really ridiculous, because it goes nearly full screen, it's plus on block, it can be cancelled off the last hit into a jump or a sidestep, so it can be hard to punish. It c it starts combos. It does everything you want, and it's a really good move for um, cancelling into it through your support because there's all this stuff on the screen, so you can easily... Um, this is just an example, but as you can see there, you didn't know Makamo was coming out for a grab there, so the opponent, if they were blocking, they most certainly do not either. It's just a really, really crazy special move. Ooh, nice. Oh no! I'm dead. No! <laughs> That's what happens. If you let go for half a second against Tengen, um, we probably died because he's a billion hits on everything. So yeah, um, if you're blocking against Tengen, you need to really learn when. Oh, what the heck? That was meant to. That's not the right button. I also remapped my button, so I'm uh, messing a bunch of stuff up. If you're playing against Tengen, you really need to know the exact positions that you can um, push the opponent back to get punishes uh, off of his tilt special, because you can actually punish it if you do like the push block off of the first hit of it, because then the follow-ups don't hit, and you can punish it unless he switches with the support or anything. But that's really important to know, otherwise he can just walk all over you, because if you push guard or whatever, he can just keep chasing you down with this. And your guard's just gonna break, and you're gonna take chip damage, and you're just gonna lose. So, as you can see there, he pushed me back at the right time, and follow ups didn't hit, so he was able to, you know, go out of it. And that's really what you need to make sure you're doing when you're playing with him. Oof. Don't know if that was a miss input, but it was a very interesting choice of play. Um, and yeah, I really have no reason not to just always start with my tilt special, it seems. So as you can see, he pushed back there and it didn't work. Bit of a strange place to DP. And also off of his DP, you can go into things like grabs for, you know, nice combo enders like Enmoog kind of does. Oof, yeah, and his DP is really, really punishable. Oof, um, what do we do here? Is he gonna mash? No, wait, I wanna get out of there. I wanna get out of here. GG's. So, uh, yeah, that's game one. That's how you play Tengen. You use Tilt Special until the opponent figures out how to deal with your Tilt Special. And even if they do, honestly, just keep doing Tilt Special. Because they're not gonna deal with it all the time. GG's, shake my hand. I know how to press a single button. Do you? Because it just walked all over you. So I'm gonna round start with um Tilt Special. So yeah, people start to get really trigger happy on the push blocks. And um, I have to figure out how to deal with that a little bit better because I do not know how to deal with that very well. Ooh!
Also, he has a little bit of a hard time sometimes comboing off of his um, tilt attack. At least it's pretty safe, though. Because it's so far away and doesn't have too much recovery, honestly. What was that? Ooh! I didn't mash correctly. If the, if I had have been paying more attention and didn't mess up weirdly, he wouldn't have had time to go for that DP. Also, I could have comboed into my DP there and won the game, but I'm bad. Ooh. No offense, but I guess he's worse. <laughs> no, I can't say that. <laughs> it's mean. I'm so glad people can't hear me talking. Hello, what's going on? Am I getting hit? Oh yeah, I'm getting hit. <laughs> He's such a crazy character. Um, no, obviously it's a bit early to say where he sits on the tier list, but I think he's definitely one of the easiest characters in the game to play. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> there we go again! May as well just hop an ultimate for fun. Probably take him down to about 5%. But yeah, Tengen seems super easy. He seems to have super strong pressure, especially if the opponent doesn't know how to deal with it. But um, unfortunately, he's not as new or complex as I was kind of expecting and hoping. From the trailer, it seemed like he had like interesting kind of like walking, slow multi-hitting attacks. Which I guess he kind of has, but they're just, you know, basic special moves like almost everyone in the rest of the game has. So he doesn't kind of bring any new life to the game, which is a little unfortunate, especially since he's paid DLC. But I guess we'll see with the rest of the characters. I think some of the new characters, especially like Daki, could bring a really, really interesting new playstyles to the game. No! I thought that would have killed! Hello? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I do feel like the two colors of Tengen um, are not distinct enough, and I <laughs> very often lose which character is actually mine. I did try to mash after my tilt attack there, which is definitely stupid, but it's very safe. And I wondered if he would have screwed up kept taking his turn afterwards. Oof, unfortunate. <laughs> oh yeah, look at those resets, wow. Oh wow, that actually comboed. I thought that would have been a weird place to cancel into an ultimate. Guess it combos. He also has a really nice big hitbox on his ultimate activation, which is always handy. And an awesome animation, which is always good to watch. No push blocks. Oh, okay. Finally got out of it. But see, I didn't even spend that much meter on it, honestly. Go for a grab, and I can go for this on wake up, and then go again. Ooh, nice! Interesting, using his standing neutral special. I, I'm not entirely sure if it has any like unique properties, like maybe it has guard, armor or guard points since he has that weird like starting anime. Nice! Animation where it kind of looks like he's guarding, but I haven't really figured out if it's useful for anything like that yet. God. Please, stop getting hit. You're making me feel bad. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god, why did it work again? And now I've won. It's starting- it was- it was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel guilty. <laughs> These victories that I have not deserve me to take. I haven't played this game in months. And with the power of Tilt Special, I've been able to take basically every game that I've played, which should definitely not happen. Rematch? It's definitely understandable if you want to leave, but a uh, rematch? Woohoo, there we go. So, his tilt special is punishable if the opponent does push back the first hit of it. Wow, that was lucky. Um, but if you are expecting that the opponent's going to do that, you can just switch out with your support and get a punish on whatever they try to punish you with. So it can be kind of become like a high risk or like an expensive way to keep yourself safe. But if you do think the opponent's going to try to punish you, it'll make them, you know, less likely to want to do- Oh, I thought I was mashing there. Oh my god. Oh, too close to the corner. What? Yeah, what an epic, what an epic victory. God damn it, I hate the supports. Why do supports kill? We need to start a hashtag. Ooh, I love that, going from the air into the DP, back into the ground. <laughs> no chance, you do not have enough life to armor through anything, my guy. Sorry. But I do now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, it, didn't, it doesn't even cost me that much meter to break that guard. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh no! No, my armor attack is gone. Oh no, this could be death. Oh, it's not death. It's not death, it's victory. Ooh -hoo -hoo. So the good thing about his standing or his neutral special, whatever you call it, special one, is that it's really safe. He can cancel out of it at any point into a jump or a sidestep or into anything else which is not a property his tilt special has. He can only cancel his tilt special at the very end, which is still really amazing, just not as amazing. <laughs> but the bad thing about his standing neutral special is you have to cancel it into maybe his tilt special in order to make it plus one block and not punishable. <laughs> Ooh, are you gonna mash now or are you gonna let me grab you? Yeah! Okay, and now I can run away. <laughs> oh no! I survived a long time, but I ended up getting hit. Oh, not enough. Sorry. Sorry, Tengen twin. You hate to see it. But then again. Not gonna give away a free victory.
Hey, <laughs> <laughs> another Tengen. Nice name, person with. Probably. <laughs> Japanese name that has just been turned into random boxes. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> is this what the whole match is going to be? And then go for the grab. Oi, come on, I was nearly done. Just wait a little bit longer, please. Ooh. I'm in the air, at least you can't get a combo for that because I'm in the air. <laughs> oh, I tried to jump sidestep, but I guess wasn't meant to be, wasn't meant to be. Nice, I really wanted to do that there. Where are all my pushbacks? Does that still exist? Oh yeah, I guess I was just doing it weird. Oh, that's a really good place to escape from a combo. I'm probably dead. Yeah, anytime you think Tengen's gonna go for his guard attack or his DP, whatever you want to call it, if you break out of the combo there, there's a good chance you're gonna punish him. So I guess I should pay attention to that. If the opponent has the support to break out of a combo, I should go for combo routes without guard special. Okay, okay. We're learning things here. I don't know where Makamo was going there. Oh, thanks for not punishing me. That was very kind of you. Oh, no. Okay, I should use my armor attack more. Definitely more than I... Instead of DP. Because it's quite safe. Okay, only if it... Ooh, nice. Gonna break out of that or no? Yeah, okay. No! So, yeah, you can. Unlike characters like Rengoku or Tanjiro, if they do like an aerial water wheel or something, um. Tengen seems like he can easily be hit out of his aerial tilt skill, which is good because it would be ridiculous if he couldn't be. But there's a lot of ridiculous stuff in this game, and why could I not cancel out of that? I was trying to sidestep, but okay. Oh, he's won two matches. Goodness me, we gotta we gotta make this comeback. I'll pay more attention. Okay, he's gonna go for his. Did you sing in the storm? Oh no, he didn't. Oh, I, you need to make sure you go for your tilt. I mean, your kind of like extra long attack. See, I got hit out, out of that again. No! Bro, where's my... <laughs> I should not have changed my buttons right before I played online. That was a recipe for disaster and oh, my combos are trash. Cool. We've got the match. We've got lots and lots of meters, so I'm going to be trigger happy on the boosts. Maybe even ultimate this round. Oh, I'm the brown one. I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh no! What did I say about not using that in the combo if they're going to break? Wait, I thought I was doing my armor attack. Hello? Oh, I tried to go for a reset, but it didn't reset. Yeah, okay. So he dashes forward a lot before he actually activates the hitting, so you gotta make sure you don't do it when you think the opponent is directly gonna attack. Because I do also have this, which has more of a hitbox in front of him. So I should alternate between the two of them. Cool. 
Cool, cool, we got another match. I didn't use any meter in that round either. Bit stupid, but I'm a forgetful elephant. Ooh. Oh, get out of there! Oh my goodness, was that a level three? No, it was just a level one, right? Okay, okay. Starting to read me and I don't appreciate it. Okay, this should be the end. I thought that wasn't going to combo for a second. Surely this does enough damage. There might be a lot of scaling, but come on. Surely that kills. Please. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, you know what we're going to do. <laughs> you knew what we were going to do. He was reading me but like a book, but um... I don't know. I guess he wasn't turning the pages. I kept doing the same thing over and over again. But hey, if it works, it works. It's up to him to adapt. And me to adapt to his adaptions. And if he's not going to adapt, well, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing over and over again, aren't I? See, I didn't go for a DP there where I would have normally. I'm so smart now. Oh, hey there. No! Okay, yeah. Try to not use the DP unless you're absolutely sure it's going to hit. Instead, go for this. Oh, and then fail to get a combo for a bit. No! Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know, I know. That's not as good as I think it is. Owie, owie, I might break out of this, yes I will. Oh, and he goes into an ultimate. Okay, so anytime it's a bit of an antsy situation and it's clear I'm gonna try and force some pressure onto him, he likes to just throw out a preemptive ultimate to beat me. And it has been working because I've been playing just preemptively and assuming things will hit. So he can do big risky things like an ultimate and it'll actually work. But if I play a little bit more defensively and reactively, that will blow up in his face. He'll waste a lot of meter and get punished for it. I think his pressure is kind of really OP if you think about it, because he's got this forwards advancing plus on block special move. Like, how are you supposed to deal with that? Maybe there's gaps in it? I would hope so, or else this is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, what was, what is he meant to do about that? I've just realized. <laughs> like, yes, I can use my standing special if I'm in pressure, but why would I not just constantly, oh, die? What's the combos of choice? Just back and forth into special moves? Okay, nice. Wow. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, I could. Okay. Pretty low on resources. So if he tries to get on top of me, I can just go for a boost. Like that. And here we go. Like what's what's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do? What? Wait a second. What? What's he gonna do? Oh, that was really good. That was meant to be a tilt attack, but um, my advanced input. Oh crap! Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. He does that a lot, and it works. But it's fine. At least he's not doing crazy stuff with his meter. I just get hit by random ultimates. As long as it doesn't kill, I'm not complaining. Yeah. 
Okay. Finding it a little tricky to combo off of my tilt attack. Maybe I should just dash cancel. No! Okay, nice. Whoa, why didn't my pushback push him back? Ooh, nice. Okay. No thanks. Come at me. Okay, or not. What? Bro, what you gonna do? Oh, no! Okay, I've said it again, but of course he's gonna do that. He has an ultimate. Pay attention, Mr. Alberonin. Okay. Well, now I have a lot of meter and he doesn't, so I need to make sure I rub it in by using my boosts and surges and stuff. Don't know why mine worked and his didn't. Ooh, nice. Going to boost over here. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh. So I can just mash buttons and go through whatever he's doing? No. But now, now really, what's he gonna do? Really, what are you gonna do that? Like, come on. An overpowered pressure tool combined with the stupid overpowered mechanical surge? What are you gonna do? How fabulous I am? That's, what a good attitude, Tengen. Requested a rematch though, okay. I thought I was being a little bit toxic at the end there, but props to you, player. <laughs> You're a good sport. Ooh. I suck. So yeah, like, I cannot combo with it from that far away. So I should perhaps just go into a dash cancel. But that seems like a waste of meter to get a combo, like a red combo off of my armor attack. Do I really want that? <laughs> Wait, how do you fall out of it? Okay, so you can push back the first hit, and then it seems like it's pretty punishable. I forgot about that. One of the first players we fought against showed that. No! The corner ruining everything, as always. Oh yeah, I know what I can do. If I'm throwing it out and I'm a bit scared of my opponent punishing it, I can just do this. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> hey Makomo, didn't mean to throw you in here. That looked pretty cool though. Um, but yeah, because it's all one thing, I can just do the input for my tilt attack. And... And then go in for a grab if the opponent ever blocks it. That was just an example, I wouldn't do it on hit. But, um, okay. Good to know. Okay, nice. Jump, should I, should I have sidestepped or jump sidestepped? Oh, goodness me. Nice big hitbox on his ultimate activation, though. That's good to know. Kung Lao moment there. It's not a hat, but it looked like it. You know, I'm gonna go for the exact same thing I've been going for the entire time. Oh, amount of meter. No, how tragic. Oh, 
Still have an armor attack though. And start with Raging Storm! Then he breaks the combo, and then I go for it again. Then he gets hit by it again. And I go in for some stuff like this. And I go for a reset. Oh, that was meant to be a grab, but whatever. Okay. I don't really know what he just did. And now he's dead. GG's. Let's go with the fireworks. The god of festivals. Boom. And I got an achievement for it. Thank you very much, Steam. <laughs> I, like <laughs> I like the one where you win. We just zoom in on the sparkles on his forehead. GG's.